Hi guys, it's Meg. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So I'm about to start filming the last of my videos at my parents' house. I can't believe it's been two months. Just to kind of <laughs> let you guys know why I've been here, my husband is away on work. So that's why we're here. We didn't just abandon him and like leave <laughs> North Carolina. We will be going back. So I'm going to film a couple videos so that I can schedule them out. Um, it is a pretty long drive for us. It's about nine and a half hours depending on traffic. So fingers crossed there won't be any traffic. But we're approaching the 4th of July beach season. So I know that's like a really big travel time. So I hope that you guys are all doing really well and enjoying your summer. I hope you guys are having a lot of fun and spending time with your family and friends. So in this video, what I want to share with you guys are some goodies I picked up from Anthropology. Now, Anthro is not usually a store that I typically get to shop at because we don't have one um, very close to where I live in North Carolina. So my sister and I got to do a really fun like girls night spa type of thing and we just kind of were walking around downtown Philadelphia which is so beautiful. We had a really great time. I love Philadelphia so much. It's probably my favorite city. Um, it holds like a special place in my heart because my husband went to college there. I went to college right outside of the city and we just have so many fun memories there of being with our friends and doing all kinds of fun stuff. So any chance I get to go there, I just love it and it was a ton of fun. So we went into anthropology and just completely got sidetracked by the housewares. You guys know that I still have to drive back. <laughs> This is just so crazy. Everything was just so cute. I couldn't pass it up. So let me show you what I found. Now the first thing you guys can probably see right here is this ceramic um, muffin like tin. But how cute is this in this gorgeous mint green? I absolutely love it. Now our kitchen at home is kind of like a pale pinkish theme. And no, my husband doesn't care. He's like really is not into like picking out things for the house at all. He kind of takes care of the outside picking stuff out and I get to do the inside. So we got a pale pink KitchenAid mixer for our wedding shower like five years ago, which I absolutely love. But I always love these pale kind of retro inspired colors and I feel like this goes really cute with the pale pink. So I do have some pops of this color and I like to seasonally change everything out. So I thought that this would be super fun and it is oven safe. It's a glazed earthware made in Portugal and this was $32 um, but it's really really cute and I absolutely love that. So going along with that bakeware, I came across this and couldn't pass it up. I thought that this would be awesome to do kind of like banana bread or even brownies, anything like that. I feel like batterish type cakes you could definitely do in here. And I make oatmeal, vegan oatmeal cook, um, cupcakes. Oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? Vegan like oatmeal breakfast muffins. I have a recipe for them on my blog. I'll link it down below. If you guys are ever interested in recipes or um, more food related stuff, I have a ton of things on my blog. So I will link that down below. It's searchable if you want to search like muffins or vegan recipes or anything like that. You can just put it into the search engine on my blog and it'll take you to the recipes. So I make those pretty much on the weekly basis. I try and make a batch of banana nut oatmeal muffins and I think that I'm gonna get a ton of use out of that so anyway this one I can use for brownies my husband loves brownies or I do like banana bread anything like that I thought this was really cute and this one was also um, made in Portugal and it's a glazed earth earthenware and it's also oven safe and it, this one was $24 so I will put all the links to those in the description box below in case you guys want to check them out this, you guys, I am obsessed with. Like, how cute is this measuring cup? I have just the traditional Pyrex clear one. This is so cute. I even thought that this would be adorable to put flowers in as like a centerpiece on my table. I just thought this was really, really pretty. It is dishwasher safe, made in China, $24, and I thought it was really cute. You can see it has the little measuring things on the side. It looks like it's hand painted. I don't know if it is, but it's just really, really cute. So I thought this was adorable. And I thought that would make a really unique piece for our kitchen. And I like how the three of them kind of all match together. So while we were in anthropology, you know, I was on a girls' night, so of course I wanted to pick up something cute for my daughter while we were gone. I always like to bring her, I mean, not that I'm like away from her 
really ever. <laughs> this was like the first time in a while that I got to have a girls night. So, but when I am, I like to pick up something cute for her. And I found this, me and my sister found this at Anthropology, and I seriously am obsessed with it. How cute is this little stuffed animal? It's a little flamingo, and I think it's just going to be <laughs> so cute in her room. I just like couldn't leave without it. She was kind of not really that into it. Um, but she's warmed up to the flamingo. We named him. So she named it Fluffy. So this is Fluffy the flamingo. And I just thought she was so cute. Also from Anthropology, $24. I think something like this would be so cute and unique for a baby shower or anything like that. I just think you can find the cutest things at Anthro. So I got that for my daughter. Okay, then we went into the sale section. And normally we always look for clothes, but my sister and I were just like on a home hunt when we were in there. So I found some cloth napkins. I'm kind of like really into cloth napkins right now. I don't know why. I got the Lily Pulitzer ones. I can't wait to use those. And so I picked up these. It was a set of six and I paid $14.95. These were on sale. And I just thought that they were really cute. And what I like about these napkins is that they're a square. So I like to use these either for a napkin. You can put the little napkin ring on it like that. Or we have a round table in our kitchen and I love to use these square like linen things as kind of like a centerpiece and then you can put your arrangement your floral arrangement or your fruit basket in the middle and it's just really nice like this is really an easy and inexpensive way to change up um, your kitchen decor depending on the season or like if you go by color schemes or anything like that so the lily ones are really fun and bright and they're going to be perfect for summer but I thought that these could take me through like September and October because they are kind of fallish and you know what's great about them is if you don't use them for napkins you have six so if you have end tables or you have a dining room table or you want to use these as placemats I mean there's a really a ton of different things that you can use these little napkins for or you could even just hang them on your stove because it pretty much feels like a kitchen towel. So I really like these. It's a bunch of different patterns and I just thought it was a really good price for six napkins. The next thing I got, I scored a great deal on. Now this really isn't kind of my style per se, but I thought that this was perfect for the summertime. This was only $12.95. And what it is, is a kitchen table runner. So like I said, I have a circular table in my kitchen, but we have a really, really long rectangular dining room table that's kind of just like a wood finish. It's from Ikea. I'll link it down below because I found it was really hard to find um, a dining room table that I wanted within a reasonable budget. My husband's um, job, you know, we move a lot, so I didn't want to spend thousands of dollars on furniture and we have a three-year-old and a dog and a cat so there's just we're not at that stage in our life where I would even want to spend a lot of money on our furniture because between moving and having a toddler and animals I just like can't stomach the fact of getting ruined so we furnish most of our house through Ikea and just like you know random things that we picked up along the way so anyway, I will link that down below because we love our dining room table. It seats like comfortably eight to 10 people. It came with two leaves that you can put in it and I love the finish of it. It's exactly what I wanted. It reminds me of kind of like a restoration hardware type of a look for much less. <laughs> so I thought that this would be really cute across our dining room table just to bring some color into that room. And I also thought I could use it outside on our um, outdoor dining area. So I thought this was really cute and for $12, um, I feel like it's even hard to kind of find things like that at that price point at TJ Maxx. So I picked that up and then this one I love. It's also a table runner. I paid $24.95 for and I know I'm going to use this all winter long. I mean I can use it now. It's such a great neutral but we have silver and gold chargers and our plates are kind of like a pale tealish color from Target which i um, We'll insert a picture or put a link to because they've held up really great and I love them. But this I thought would match perfect and I love having things that are silver and gold because it's an easy way to use your linens year round. So I could use this in the summertime if I wanted to because it is a neutral, but then at Christmas time and in the winter, it just gives a really kind of wintery wonderland kind of appearance. I have a lot of my Christmas decorations are silver and like the mercury glass so everything kind of just goes together and then when we get out the Christmas lights it makes it feel really you know welcoming and kind of like it's a 
silver theme, but then I can use this stuff, you know, all year round without having to pack it up and say like, oh, it's only Christmas. So I got that and I really like it and it has little gold tassels at the end of it, if you guys can see that. So I could even use my gold chargers with them as well. So that is everything I picked up from Anthropology. I, like I said, will try and link as much as I can down below if I can find any of it online. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!